What is going on, guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Hakon Magnuson, the priest hater, king of England, Norway, and soon, if we win this war, also king of Sweden through his wife, Gunhild. Um, we are in a war right now with the current king, Holmgar, and so far things are going really well. We've won a few battles, but nothing decisive, and that's mostly the reason, well, mostly because the, um, the Swedish don't really have an army. So uh, it's going to come down to sieges mostly and uh, I'm just gonna let this move forward for now uh, we have already taken the capital we're gonna be taking the city of Urubro as well and then well I'm I'm not quite sure what we have to do we have two of his siblings imprisoned already that's unfortunately not giving us any war score and apparently the queen mother is imprisoned by our tributary all right Anyway, a diet of bread and water does not satisfy me anymore. I need something else, something delicious and filling. Also, this is really interesting. We have been uh, collecting a lot of um, virtues as uh, Hakon, uh, but apparently we are no longer temperate now. That's kind of unfortunate. That was giving us extra stewardship and church opinion. But still, our stewardship is incredibly high, so it's, it's fine. We do lose one domain size, however. It's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, there is uh, a thousand men. Oh, okay, but they have actually been encountered by another army. Oh, we had apparently, we apparently had an army marching south. I didn't know. I thought this was the only army we had, but this is this is actually really cool because, um, yeah, we're gonna crush them. And I, ah, uh, yeah. So they they were probably trying to besiege our capital again. I remember now. It's been a while since I played, um, because you know it's very stressful at the moment, but. Uh, um, yeah, I think I'm slowly remembering what we've been doing. Do you have any other holdings? This is your capital, and then you've got Vista. I think we're going to be taking that as well. And do we have imprisoned someone? No. Okay, that was just some random other info. Uh, we're leaving the center ourselves. I hope... <laughs> I was just going to say, I hope nothing's gonna, nothing bad is going to happen, but it seems something bad is happening. As I'm swinging, swinging my blade vigorously in front of me, my trusted dog gnaws at the legs of my enemies, and the battle rages on through the forest. Then there is a cry from a soldier nearby. Incoming arrows! My lord, watch out! Wait, what is that dog? Fuck. Well, apparently, our dog takes an arrow for us. Oh my god. That is so cool. I love all of these new events. No, my dog, you are too good for this world. Or, where is the enemy commander? I'll kill him myself. So we can either, yeah, lose our dog, or we can try and kill Ingvar. I think that's what we'll do. He's a combat skill of 24. We are a brave man. I don't want to lose my dog. I, I find it a bit weird that this is an option, because us fighting the commander doesn't, like, stop the arrows, but... Either way, we're going to do this. We're going to try. Maybe he was the one. Maybe he was aiming at our dog and we can either hide or attack him. So I guess we're going to charge him. I want this personal duel here. I think we're going to have the upper hand. We'll see. But yeah, there's a duel in the forest. Ingvar is swinging his battle axe wildly when suddenly a shriek of pain cuts through the air. Staggering, I realize that the voice is my own. My opponent has managed to actually hurt me. Oh shit. We actually lost the duel. Well, that's not good. Don't we have... Oh, what did I just do? I just tucked myself... Aw, oh, damn it. I just took myself out of the army. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I wanted to check out the treasury. Uh, we have our... We have an axe ourselves. Apparently, we've been beaten. Oh, well. But I guess, actually, this is... You know, let's just say I, I intended to do that because we're wounded. It kind of makes sense that we're no longer leading men. So, that was all planned. Anyway. <laughs> Ark, by God, that hurt man. So, we get... We get the trait wounded. We got a swollen ankle. Uh, okay. Our dual experience is increased, but our combat skill is actually reduced. Alright. Well, there you go. So reduced because we're wounded. Um, but we have more dual experience now, so that's good too. Alright. Well, either way, we've won the battle. That's actually pretty significant. And we need someone else leading. Now, I did say... I wouldn't leave when I'm wounded. So we'll just leave that open for now, actually. We'll just leave it open for now. Okay. Credible reports of a recent sighting of a great white bear. 
uh, yeah, we're not going to hunt bears while we're wounded and at war. I think that's really not fitting. So we'll, we'll hold on, hold off on that. But I mean, I think us taking a wound is better than that dog dying because chances are we'll just recover, right? I mean, we're 39. We're, we're still, still strong, right? I would say so. But yeah, I've noticed Marshall Count Wergen's his hard work and everyone seems to like him. I'm deciding between having my martial heighten the morale of the troops or recruit more men. I think morale. We want morale. We've been wounded. We want the morale high uh, since we can't fight with our men right now. So we want them to uh, still be, you know, very interested in fighting. Okay, we're taking some massive attrition it seems. Supply limit? Should be fine. Out of supply. Okay, we should siege this quickly. Alright, we did. Very good. With 43%. Now what do I do? I just siege random places? Maybe. This is a young duke with a claim to the king of Sweden. So maybe we'll siege his domains. Seems like a good idea. Um, and who's this? Okay, maybe this man's lands we'll, we'll leave alone. Okay, we'll try and crush this small army. Then the l l slightly bigger one. We've made a new prisoner. Next communicated branded apostate. Uh, we can probably send Holy Order. Mm. I, I think I might just execute this man. Yeah. There you go. And we'll destroy these people. Very- Wow. It's no one left alive. Not a single soul. They're all dead. Alright, fine. Okay, and we'll go to Skara. Uh, that seems like a very good place to uh, loot. And we'll see if that's possible. Okay, new men are being mustered all around us. And the monophysite faith is triumphant. Okay. That, oh. Okay, I, I can get that confused. I thought that was a orthodox heresy. It's not, so actually that doesn't really matter to me then. Um, it's not too important. Anyway, moving on. And uh, apparently we have an encounter with our son Ranwald. Ranwald. I'm not sure how to pronounce this really. But yeah, we can make him cruel, which I don't think fits at all. So um, we'll have him get some practice in reading. I think that's fine. Yeah, I don't want him to be cruel. That, that's just, no, I don't see that happening. Anyway, Skara has fallen, but we'll just continue the siege, to be honest. And what's going on with Overtrithia? Apparently, there is a peasant revolt has broken out, and now they're sending their troops home. I can understand, to be quite honest, but that obviously... Wow, that's been a huge portion of our forces here. Wow, okay. Anyway, our wound has finally healed. We're now scarred. And our personal combat skill is all back. Our ankle's no longer swollen. And yeah, we have a lot more personal combat skill now. Cool, I think we can get back into leading troops now. And move on forward. With 72%, I hope that, um, yeah, soon this is going to be over. Once we get all the sieges in. It actually does take quite a while. Now, in the meantime, maybe I should build up a little bit more here. Uh, training grounds seems like a good idea. Let's go ahead and start that construction. And my interest in paganism has come to the attention of one of its practitioners within the realm. Oh, that is so cool. We met and have had the most fruitful discussions about theology and other matters. Madga von Volgast. Oh, right. That is the shield maiden. Um, that is actually the daughter of this high chieftain that we executed, we beheaded. And she has been recruited by us. She's our courier. She wants to marry a ruler. Interesting. We become close friends. Now, okay, honestly, I think that might be... Yeah, that might be that. We have this man as our friend. I think I might convert here. We've had some real issues with the Pope in the past. And now that we have sympathy for pagan religions, we have made an, a friend. I wonder, can we secretly convert to Slavic? Piety must be greater than 250. Okay, I think that's something I might want to do. Slavic is not the religion I was, you know, going for initially. Um, I would have wanted to go for Germanic, but I think Slavic fits 
you know, it just fits better for the story overall. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, the, the Pope has just been pissing us off way too much. So, um, yeah, I think that's a, I think that's something we'll do. Uh, maybe secretly at first, but um, I think we're definitely going to delve deeper into this. But for now, let's make sure that we finish this war. Anyone else that's particularly annoying? The Queen Mother Usta. Um, I don't think she needs to be punished anymore. Who's this man? This man, Duke Grimm, he does have a claim as well. Erland and Swede. Okay, let's, um, let's besiege these territories as well. And that should be enough. I think that will give us a 100% war score. Now, young Brig Brigitta has finished her education and become a detached priest. Okay. Oh, that's one of the prisoners, right? One of the one of the sisters of the current king that we have imprisoned. That's that's fine. All right. Still haven't found suitable husbands husbands for my daughters. That's something I definitely need to change. Um, we'll do that soon. Anyway, my friend has really been letting himself go as of late. What was once a strong and energetic man has slowly become a weak-willed and sedentary glutton, only excited about his next great feast. I need to warn him as politely as I can. Now, I think that's, yeah, that's the way we will go. Yeah, it's, I think we will tell him that he needs to, he needs to be better. Although, I mean, come on, this guy, he's lost a leg and a hand Maybe we should just let him eat what he wants. He's 51 years old. You know, I I think that's, it's fine. I think it's fine. He can, he can eat all the food he wants. Perhaps it helps him regrow his limbs. That would be kind of nice. I doubt it, honestly. Oh, whoa, what's this? Another peasant revolt. Okay, I kind of don't want to deal with this right now. I'd like to finish the war first. But we might have to deal with the peasants anyways. Because once this war is over, our, our wife will be queen. So, you know. And now our hunting dog has died anyways. Well. It doesn't actually matter what I pick. I think a... I mean, I guess we'll still bury him quietly. Do we need a prop, proper funeral? I mean, we basically took a wound for our dog. I think that's fine. I think we don't need a funeral, really. It seems kind of weird. But yeah, okay. Another siege successful. And great philosopher who has helped me with my studies to enhance culture in the county. Sure. We'll agree to that. Another siege has been successful. We're near 100%. And we can invest more in technology. I think legalism is the one I wanted, right? Regulated inheritance. Late feudal administration. That's kind of what... I need it for something. I think I need that for Ignatic. Ignatic. No, we have Ignatic Ignatic. Oh, for Prima Tenita, right? We need to be at peace and have late feudal administration, right? So we should be able to change this. But we only have one supporter. Alright, so we're gonna have to get gather some more support. We'll do that. But first, finish this war, please. Okay, the capital has been retaken. Let's actually go back to the capital because apparently that's where everything's going on right now huge army of peasants that we'll need to destroy Ooh, there's actually two peasant revolts that are combining their troops but it looks like we're winning even though we took a river crossing here okay my son needs a new focus um diplomacy or intrigue i actually want to make him a fighter so there you go let's actually just do that let's give him that focus Alright. Good. We've won. We're at 100%. I think we can end this here. Totally beaten. Who are you betrothed to? Okay, some Russian. Doesn't matter. You will be deposed. And our wife is here in your stead. And, uh... Yeah, unfortunately... Dyer is not, uh, our son is not the one to inherit, it looks like. Hmm, alright, well, anyways, I guess that's fine. We'll send, do I want to send my troops to deal with the peasants? Maybe I should. Maybe I, maybe I should.
All right, we'll do that. We'll send one army south. These guys, however, can stand down. I think these 4,000 will be sufficient to deal with the peasants, especially because I assume Obertrithia will send some troops to deal with these guys as well. All right, uh, successful nomination. Whoa, what happened? Why? Okay, this is strange. Why is my son no longer my heir? Cecilia? Wait, why can I not vote for my son? This is so strange. He's heir to the Duchy of Nidaros. Why is he disinherited? Outraged by succession law change. What happened? I'm confused. Agnatic Agnatic Elective. I cannot nominate my son. What? What's going on? Is that because my wife became the queen? Is that it? No. I mean, not really? I'm confused. This seems awfully stupid. So I can only vote for my sister, not for any of my children. What the hell? How does that make any sense? Why can I not vote for my children? I can vote for anyone but my children. Um, I'll make you an important character, by the way. Yeah, okay. I'm... I'm a bit hesitant to move forward now because, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Could see the realm prosper. This is kind of annoying. Um. Hmm. Well, I mean, it might not be an issue if I get to convince my council um, to vote with me. Alright, well, I'm going to have to check this out. This all seems a bit strange. Uh, I really don't quite... Yeah, I really just don't understand what's going on. Why, why can I no longer nominate my children? Um, I'm going to have to look into this. If any of you have an idea, you can obviously let me know in the comments. Uh, chances are I may have already figured out by the time you write it, but still... Obviously, all help is appreciated. Uh, a, a bit of a weird ending here. I'm sorry for that. But uh, yeah, I'm just... This kind of just threw me off track. So anyway, we have won our war. We're now the king of Sweden as well. And um, yeah, there is a very high chance that we're going to convert to uh, to a pagan religion now. Anyway, that was it. I'll see you next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.